Well, we're learning more about the harassment investigation and arrest at the Department of Law Enforcement Sheriff Division. The director telling us today the case is stemming from alleged misconduct related to the training of new recruits. Here's Bryce Moore. The Department of Law Enforcement's director says some members of their recruit class that graduated last December came forward in March about alleged misconduct from their superiors during training. Nine individuals are being investigated. Four have been arrested and Director Jordan Lowe says all have been uh, placed on administrative uh, leave with pay. Uh, their police powers have been restricted. Three of the four who were arrested are facing allegations of racial harassment, something the Senate's Public Safety Committee chair says is unacceptable. To hear that they have some that need lessons in not being bigots and racists, that is troublesome. Sheriffs are required to undergo online harassment training every other year by law, but due to these recent incidents, that's being required now for them to complete that within 30 days. Human resource experts say behavior that is perceived as harassment is often thought of as joking around by the person being accused. But when it has to do with race, religion, or sexuality... I think the point is that there is no real joke in the workplace when the topic of the joke falls under any of the protected classes. Definitely not in the workplace. Yeah. Director Lowe says he's looking to establish a yearly in-person harassment training program. And the department will also be looking into every single field training officer to determine if they should be reassigned. Which lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agree are good things. We're not the mainland, and I don't think we should be taking things very sensitively. However, if it does make someone uncomfortable, you've crossed the line. Realize that there is a problem, didn't deny that he has a problem there, but is taking all the right measures in ensuring that this doesn't happen again. The investigation is ongoing, and Director Lowe did not give a timeline for how long it will last. Bryce Moore, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.